We're building a woodshed. Why are we building a woodshed? Well, we live off the grid and our main source of heating is with firewood. We've got 11 cord and it's time to build it a home. All of this wood came from our local mill. It is all rough cut, meaning that when it's sent through the machines and cut to size, it's usually on a little bit of an angle or much bigger than you actually need and you are meant to trim it down to size. So we're cutting both ends off and keeping everything square. Because as you can see with the triangle, see the ends aren't square. So we're gonna be using Daddy DeWalt quite frequently <laughs> to build both of our bases. Curls for Crystal. <laughs> Nine. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Now that all of our timber is cut, we are going to place our joists every 16 on center on our front and our back board. This is very important as we need to also make sure base number one is square. So we need to constantly be measuring each corner. The base is split into two different sections that meet in the middle. And why is that? Because Crystal wanted a big woodshed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing a 20 by 12. This is no joke. It's gonna hold so much wood because we have tons. And even after we burn through all of that, we will have space for other things, which is amazing. You're probably wondering, girls, your surface isn't even level. Well, don't we have a surprise for all of you? Stay tuned. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but this is what happened building that. I am absolutely covered, <laughs> covered in bites. A few weeks ago, I said, if you keep wearing shorts, winter won't come. I think I'm right. Speaking about how warm it is, I think you all need some sunnies today. One of the most important steps when you want something perfect is to also check the angle. Diagonal. That way you know your structure is square. It is said that we're supposed to lift this while we put in our skis. Can we do it? Oh my god, my legs came out. Base numero dos. Ta-da! And now we're moving on to four by fours. And this is going to be the best part ever. Can you hear the sarcasm in my voice? We have a massive pile of wood here. While it looks like tons and tons of material, we only have just enough. So we have to be very cautious of the pieces we're choosing because if I we make any mistakes, way. it's not gonna be very fun anymore. So. Here we are, measuring them all out, making sure we're getting the right ones. And it's a big old mess because the delivery was not that smooth. Good job. All of our skids are now cut. And now for the most difficult part of all, leveling. Leveling is said to be known the most important part in the kingdom of construction. Do I say it sound like David Attenberg, but in construction world? Anyways, no real talk though. We need to level all of these skids 100% perfect, which makes it easier than trying to level all of that, every single board we level. We're gonna prop it up on the skids because we know we can lift them. And then our structure will last longer as well. And it's less leveling. It's eight pieces of leveling instead of 20. Capiche capoche, apple sauce. We have our first skid in right here. And as you can see, the joists also sit on the skid that we just put in. So not only is it saving the woodshed to make it last longer, but it's adding structural integrity. Structural? Structural? Structural integrity. Anyone a speech therapist? <laughs> I need help with some words. <laughs> okay, Nicole, you're up. Yeah. Nicole, embarrass something. Oh. <laughs> Skids are underneath the first half of the base, lifting it up four inches off the ground which allows for adequate airflow and drainage. Now we got a level. Do we ever? Reflecting it probably would have been easier if we built these skids in a different place and we had friends to lift them, but we have no friends. That's perfection. But that means I have to keep my hand stay super still like this. Do you believe in me? Yeah, of course I do. Aww. Happy six years. What's up, Captain? Well, Paris. 
pretty level. <laughs> Yay. Level queen herself. It's level. And it's beautiful. It looks so freaking good. I'm so happy like, once again to be at this point because we're moving on to the next step. Rafter ties. This is a rafter tie and it's going to attach our base to the skids. And that way, in a hurricane, because we get those all the time, as you all notice, it's not gonna blow away and hit my precious solar. <laughs> Pretty scared. So here I go. It looks so good. <laughs> Hi dogs. Good work today. Damn, that's gonna look so nice there. Really gonna complete the space. I love it. You are home to microorganisms, including 38 trillion bacteria that live in and on your body. Collectively, these microorganisms comprise your microbiota. And these trillions of microbial cells and their surroundings and their components constitute your microbiome. Kidding! I couldn't do that to you, but let's talk bacteria. They aren't all bad, and you may not know that most bacteria in our bodies are harmless and essential to our health. A huge thank you to Seed. This is the DS01 Daily Symbiotic. Before I make myself breakfast in the morning or before a meal on an empty stomach, I take Seeds DS01. Through two capsules, you can experience digestive benefits such as bloat relief and regularity. The thing that no one wants to talk about. But because it's all connected, the benefits go beyond the gut heart health, skin health, and more. There is a capsule inside of this capsule and the combination of these two and the technology behind it actually allows everything in here, all of those probiotics, to go all the way through your digestive system and actually reach your colon. Colon? Seed is offering you 25% off your first month supply. Use code DANWIVES25 and click the link in the description. Here's to happy microbiome. Cold? Day two building the woodshed and my nose is frozen this morning. It is absolutely ironic that we are building a place to store all of our firewood and it's getting colder and colder by the day. Still can't believe we've waited this long. Jasmine's over there with Clementine loading up the two I-4s because it's decking day. We're going with such a thick wood, obviously because this is going to be carrying a lot of firewood. It needs to be strong and sturdy and stable. I just tried to think of three S words there. Don't know why I use the word stable. Anyways, it's not a horse stable. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line them all up and because they're milled wood, we're gonna line them all up to the middle and then just take a track saw and just rip it down. Okay, I have been drilling and screwing these flooring boards and then I remembered we own my best friend. So this is about to go a lot faster. Guess what? How do you know? Because you work on the job site with me every day? No, I was thinking it. I was me just to go. I ain't never gonna blend in. Already ready for some more two by four floorboards. This is wild. We have half of the deck almost done. Big old pile of wood for the next. And a big old pile of nothing. Come take a look at this. Really, I think almost done the hardest part. Well, like the heaviest part. Yeah, leveling and getting all this decking on is pretty time consuming, but before we know it, walls and a roof, feels like it's around the corner. So what's your game plan here? I didn't have a game plan. I just dropped the wood as close as I could get it. But now I realize I dropped it on your side. Clementine saves you a whole lot of work until she creates some more work. Well, I don't, I blame Jazz, not Clem. Wanna give me some more, I ain't stopping. Watch me flip out. Hey. Hey. How's life upside down? <sighs> And up, oh, good girl. Yeah. Up, up is, yeah. Love you. Are you messy or are you Beckham? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. No, she's too good. Okay, now back to decking board time. Crystal's now on the last piece, and as you can see, we have, I wouldn't even call it a staircase, I would say a lot of uneven boards at the end. So we're going to set up our track saw now and rip from one end to the other. Bella's on the track saw. Hey. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh -oh, uh -oh. That's perfect, eh? The, wo the wood is so wet. Look at that. It's bad to actually milled uh, dry wood. I just, what? I just read that. It's bad to dry milled wood? No, it's bad to milled dry wood. 
I don't know why it's so hard to think of. Oh, so you want to, because you want the you tree want to be more alive. fresh. I don't know why. Fuck. Thank you, Mill. Hey I got an idea. <laughs> Nothing the renovator can't do. Who calls it a multi-tool and who calls it a renovator? Leave it in the comments. That worked flawlessly. On to the next side, everyone. This woodshed is like the size of our cabin. It's so big, I can't wait to show you that it's even more than a woodshed. Could have concerts here. Oh, good idea, are we having a party there? Check your emails, RSVP. Evening shift is looking a whole lot different now. I'm reminded how much I love winter again. You get her, you get her. We spent the last little bit cutting all of our posts, so the things that go up vertical for our structure that hold the roof and the beam and all of that in place, the walls. And now we need to notch out six of the posts. So this is the notch that we need to cut. We'll be keeping this side leg bolt, leg bolt, and then this will be sitting on our structure. <laughs> Amazing. Now to do that more, five more times. <laughs> I have no idea where the day went, but it is still only six something p.m. and it's getting dark. Nightfall is like 20 minutes away. The sun has set. The dark and lonely days of winter in the great north. Can you see anything? No. We got the ducking done. Good work today. Maybe <sighs> have to start waking up with the crack of dawn now. I have to. Okay, let's have a fire. Hello, good morning. Do I have something exciting to show all of you? I am in a very good mood today because I finally found my one and only Milwaukee battery and tool. And because the sun's out, I love sunshine. Big old morning, smile. Dale. Every day's a party when you morning, live like an ice cream cake. Morning, Crystal. We work with a lot of milled wood out here. The only downside with milled wood is it's not 100% perfect. However, there's tools for the job. This is a hand planer, my new baby. And yes, I know it's not yellow like the rest of our tools. We're limited on selection out here in the woods, everyone. The floorboards are not exactly the same height. So I need to plane it down that way. The four by four post will sit flush and it will be 100% secure and stable. It's that easy. I, I love this tool. Post one. We set all of our three inch leg bolts into our post because it makes it easier to level. The leveler has already enough work. We're gonna be putting some posts up everyone. What are we? 68 and a half. Which means we are <laughs> perfectly square from one side to the other. Not gonna lie, I was a little worried even though we did so many measurements, corner to corner, here, there, crisscross, applesauce. I love it. It's looking so good. Whoa, wrist taker. No hands. So you know you have one straight beam. Kay. Do y'all remember when Crystal had bangs? <laughs> we did it. Really coming together now. All right, everyone. We're about to fabricate the beams. So we need two 12 foot pieces for both sides. And in the middle, they notch together and support each other to support the weight of the wood and the roof and the snow on the roof in the winter. And you on the roof, because you're roofing it by yourself. <laughs> so what the notches do is they act as an entire support. That way not half the roof is just on one beam, the other half is on the other beam. It disperses the weight of the structure. Nice! Look at my woodshed! <laughs> I got a woodshed! With no wood in it. And no shed yet, but... <laughs> It's sick, I love it. This is the part that I love where it really is gonna come together. Okay, well, we have four more to do. See y'all then. Good morning, 80% chance of rain today, looking like 100% chance of sun and some rafters going up. To get the day started, I'm gonna be doing some bracing. Jasmine's going to be planing to put the Simpson, what are those called? 
Brackets. The Simpson brackets. Simpson? Simpson? <laughs> anyway, Morning. the brackets. 12 beams cut. Beams are fun. Beams are heavy. How much do you think each one of them weighs? Like 15 pounds? Well, they're so heavy. Millwood. Mm -hmm. Millwood is heavy because it is literally raw tree. Like it hasn't been fabricated. It's not dried. It's just freaking <laughs> tree. What? Is that funny? Are you zooming in on my face? Anyway. <laughs> Oh, the beams you? are cool. Every little component is getting cooler. And Pretty cooler. face and four It's coming together. <laughs> that took forever, but it's done and it looks fabulous. All right, next step is the rafters. These here are bird mouth cuts. I often Whoa. wonder where these names came from. We're learning new things every day out here. So these cuts are going to help us attach these rafters to the building to then have a roof. Pretty wild. Fingers crossed this is correct. Ka -ka! Ka -ka! Yes, my friends, that is a successful bird's mouth. We may have taken a little break inside to warm up because it's getting awfully cold out here and a hot tea to go with it. Huge shout out to Peggy, one of our patrons for sending us these adorable still mugs. So cute. Peggy. Up, Izzy. Yeah. yeah. I think we made the benches with the fire for Izzy. Yeah. You have to be stern with her. Bella She's mama. I'm mom. Okay, yeah. we're going back to work now. Now, the rafters need to sit every two feet. Crystal does all the cutting. Look at us go. Teamwork. That's a hurricane tie, everyone. You got quite the range of songs today. You realize we've done a moment of silence with you. You fill the gaps with nice songs. <laughs> song after song after song. Even make my own hit singles. What's it called? Little Wood. <laughs> Rafters complete. <laughs> Material. These final steps of woodshed building really pull it together. Now that we have the bones, you can only guess it's gonna get a hat and a scarf, and it's gonna be nice and warm for the winter. Construction terms. <laughs> Construction terms. We're doing the scarves right now. 101. <laughs> Here comes the scarf. <laughs> Let's see how square we are. Down. 144 and 3 4. 145. Cool. That's perfect. We're a quarter inch off. What are we using now? No, it calls for screws. What do you mean? I got nails? I'm nails. I actually have five boxes of these. <laughs> they had a deal on at the hardware store. We're leaving a three inch gap in between each individual slat because this is a woodshed. We need air to flow through here and dry the wood. This is a prime location because of the sun, but these little gaps, the wood will be dry in no time. Thank gosh, because it's moldy. It's looking fabulous. Next slide! So fast. So fast. Last wall! Last nail! <laughs> I'm <Woo -hoo>. new! <sighs> Arms are tired. Yeah, you're not used to using that now, God, are you? You're getting rained on! Check it out, y'all. We have a woodshed and there's so much more to come, but she's got rafters, walls. Jasmine's up there doing the strapping with the help of Clementine, of course. Can't leave Clem behind. We are having a great time with this. It's so much fun to be building our very own woodshed. Don't you love it? Yeah, I'm having a great time with you. <laughs> it's it's such raining a... and I still am smiling. It's so fun. Like, it's just so great. I love it. It's huge. It's exactly what we dreamt of. Something that money just can't buy. I'm going fishing. That is skill. Today is the day that the metal goes on the roof and it's the very first day that we've woken up to frost. There was ice covering everything. And just look at this wheelbarrow. First piece of metal is going up and we all know that is the most important one to get square because it determines every other piece after that. Fingers crossed, we're gonna crush it.
crystals on marking the screws. That way we have nice straight screw lines all the way through. I put those roofing screws in, it's a little washer. Should be done in no time. A lot of you are probably saying, you guys need to be putting those screws in the ribs. However, it voids your warranty if you don't. They want you to put it in the flats. Also, it kind of doesn't make sense when you put it in the ribs due to the fact that in Canada, we have so much freezing and thawing that your screws will actually move if they put in the ribs because they're not making a complete seal. So, for all you that say put it in the ribs, I say put it in the flats. What? Crashing it, Biggie. Is it a source and funny? No. Whoa. Whoa. I lost it somewhere. I'm not sure where. Maybe in Idaho. My fear of heights is gone. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Well, it is for now, anyways. <laughs> We're halfway! It's done! And it is so beautiful. We have a woodshed, everyone. Finished. The project is complete. We just built a 12 by 20 woodshed and it's got a roof and walls and floor and it can hold up to 11 quart of wood. Proud. I love it so much. I had to just take a step back and be like, imagine it not there and then it was there. Good things take time. And if you enjoyed watching us build that woodshed, we have so many other videos that you can watch us build some really cool, unique things. So head on over to watch those and don't forget to subscribe back. Love you lots. Ciao. <laughs>